Really? Won't answer my calls, won't return my texts. This is the only way I had of talking to you. Did you not get the memo, Sean? I'm not on the commentary it's team. It's not part about you being part of the commentary team. Oh, I'm anymore. sorry. Well, what is it then? This is an interview, then, is it, Sean? I'm now what? Just a piece of meat? You want me to dangle like a puppet? It's not about the interviews. Up? It's about you and Green and what happened at Dark Days. What happened at Dark? Did, sorry, did I not make enough of a statement about what happened at oh, Dark Days? Oh, I think days? you made too much of a statement at Dark really? Days. You came out and you hit him from behind and beat him up all around the Latvian pool. You were supposed to be having a match with him. <laughs> a match that that kid doesn't deserve. That kid took Big Brody Marshall to the limit. That kid is a damn fine tag team wrestler. You're saying he doesn't deserve a match with you? That's exactly what I'm saying, Sean. I'm talking about a kid that doesn't understand the respect, the tradition of this business. A kid that doesn't realise a guy like me created the foundation so he had a platform to even wrestle on. And if he wants a guy like me just to step aside and let him come through, that's not how it works, Sean. Well, I'm here to tell you how it does work. As per General Manager Tom Byrne, that kid and a guy like you are going to have a match next month. Right. And if you don't compete in that match, you will lose your place in the Riot City Rumble. Oh, is that right, Sean? That's what Tom Byrne said. Oh, Tom Byrne. How long has Tom Byrne been around this business for? What's you know been... what? Don't worry about how long Tom Byrne's been around this business. Maybe I need to go and have a chat with Mr. Tom Byrne and explain to him and make him understand the difference.